Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be playing with crappy products that are sold at Ulta. These are low rated products, so the reviews are just like, actually they're comedy to me, they're hilarious. So I've done this once with Sephora. You guys absolutely loved it. You wanted me to do another one, so here we are. I have a little high end, a little drugstore. These are all low rated products, and I'm gonna put them to the test. I also wanna share with you guys, like, oh, I'm kinda almost shaking about this. I wanna share with you guys my big announcement. I told you on Friday that I would be talking about something really big happening on Monday, and what I wanna share with you guys is that my brand, my very own brand that I created myself, I am the CEO of, I put everything into this, this is not a collaboration, but my brand will be for sale on Friday at 10 a.m. PST. I'm gonna be talking all about it on Wednesday. So my Wednesday video will be devoted to everything that has to do with what went into this brand, what the product is, what the thought process is, and where we're going as a brand as well, and why, um, why I did things the way that I did them. So I'm really just so excited to share this with you guys. It has been a long time coming. I just feel like I am so grateful and so happy. And if I have this crazy smile throughout this video, even though I'm testing out bad products, that is why this is just such a special day, a special week, and we're almost there. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Come back on Wednesday to find out the brand name, all the details, what it is. Um, but mark your calendars for Friday because we will be on sale worldwide at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's so cool. Oh my God! Okay, oh, I'm getting hot. <laughs> we need to get this video going. We have a lot of products to try, so let's just dive straight in with some horrible primer. Now, people did not like this online at all. This is from Models Own. This is the Face Base Face Primer. It's going to smooth, correct, and prime. I actually really enjoy a lot of Models Own makeup, so I don't know why people are hating on this so bad. Wait, I did that wrong. Ugh. All right. I don't really see any glitter in here. I just don't. I think ever since I became really obsessed with the Bobbi Brown primer, which really was like a week ago, but ever since I started using that Bobbi Brown primer, when I put on any other primer that is more hydrating, I like to use my beauty blender. That looks like horrible. It's not as shiny as everybody is saying it is, but it's not this. You guys, this is magical. The Vitamin Enriched Face Base, I've been using it like every day. Oh my God, I see the glitter. Holy smokes. Oh my God. No. Stop it. What? Are you joking me? No, I'm sorry. This is not, this is, this is just not do it. It's like I've risen my pores from the dead. Oh my God, they look horrible. Now we know that my makeup is just gonna look kind of horrible all day long because primer is important and when you get it wrong, it can screw everything up. Moving on to a little shape tape because I thought, why not have some controversy in this video? Uh, you guys, the, the shade range on this is pretty horrible. They did add some other shades. I'm happy about that. I think everybody's happy about that, but I think everybody also was kind of like, well, why did everybody have to make a lot of noise to have that happen? It should have been like right when they launched. But I said what I had to say recently in my worst concealers video about Tarte and the shade range thing. Now the other drama that they had was, this is medium neutral, was that this, oh, gee, that's not my color. The other issue that people are having with the hydrating shape tape is the ingredients are pretty identical to another formula that they already sold. So it kind of felt like they just repackaged a foundation. I think this is better. And that made people feel not happy feelings. Um, as far as a review, because I'm not just like sticking this in here just because of drama, I'm actually sticking this in here because people didn't seem to like the foundation and that made me curious. People are complaining about how hard it is to get the product out of the bottle. I agree. I don't like Dofa applicator foundations. I just think, why? Like that works for under the eye and I get that they're trying to be cute, like the Shape Tape Concealer, which is fabulous, but come on, with a foundation, like how about a pump? It's more hygienic, it's easier to get the product out, it's easier to get the amount you want on your face. Like this doe foot applicator situation annoys me. It makes me feel violent. Anyway, I'm gonna use the shade Light Medium Honey and we're just gonna go with it. See, do you see how that's annoying though? 
So everyone's saying that it oxidizes like crazy and that it is a little bit difficult to blend and tough to get out of the bottle. Those are the complaints. I'm surprised for a hydrating foundation, this actually is difficult to blend. Let's just try like shellacking some of it on here. I'm just realizing I'm pissing off all these brands right before launching my own brand. Not smart. Eh, I don't care. It's not knocking my socks off. I get the complaints about this. You know, it's a really good one that's newer that I've been testing out. This from Bobbi Brown. This is the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. If you want a natural finish, almost hydrating, but not overly dewy foundation that wears all freaking day long, that one is actually really good. I've worn it a couple of times. We have the Bare Minerals Well Rested Face and Eye Brightener. Now, I used to sell this product when I worked for Bare Minerals back in the day in Seattle at Nordstrom One, and it was a powder. And it's so funny because the reviews actually say, why did Bare Minerals go and ruin one of my favorite products? They say that it's a watery mess. This is supposed to be light reflecting, natural, and something you can use to conceal your under eye area. Oh, the coverage level is just non-existent. Lies. Holy crap, that's horrible. I will say this. If you're someone that doesn't wear foundation, you like quick natural makeup, it did slightly brighten my under eye and maybe if I didn't pull it down so far, it could be one of those like, I fooled you, I look like this when I roll out of bed. I can't even believe the name on this one. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's called the Ghost Setting Powder. I mean, I just, I don't know, in my brain, I'm like flashback, flashback. And I just think of like, oh God, I don't know. It says the natural heat from your body will cook powder over base foundation and concealer, giving you a flawless finish. Let's find out. <laughs> oh my God, that just went everywhere. It says that you can bake with this. So I'm gonna do my like traditional thing that I would with Cody Airspun. Oh girl, this could be bad. And then I usually go doo, 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 just a little like right here. And my thing that I usually do is I will take a little bit on the tip of the sponge, kind of get some of the excess off and then I'll kind of just pat it on the skin. And with the air spun, that actually works really, really well. I'm nervous. It almost feels like it's tightening my under eye area. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna bake and cook as it says on the front of the bottle and move on to eyebrows. This is gonna be horrible. I just know it. It's called chalk brows. Maybelline, come on, come on. Shaping chalk powder. Just reminds me, am I playing hopscotch or am I doing my brows? Seriously. Okay, oh. How am I supposed to do my eyebrows with this? Are you serious? Maybelline. Okay, I have the shade 130 Deep Brown. Um, it comes in five shades. All right, we're just doing this. This is not good. And thank God I'm baking because there's just like fiber powder. Why is there a jiggly in here too? Getting fibers kind of everywhere. They need a spoolie on one end of this is what they need. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know how anyone would love this. I just don't understand this product. Do any of you guys use this? Tell me, tell me why you like it. <sighs> and now it's time to wipe off our bake. Shut up. <laughs> Stop. Remember last time how I was saying that I had plans to wear the makeup all day and like go and run errands? I don't think I can. I just don't think I can, you guys. Why is this powder not coming off of me? You might like glitter in your primer, but whatever you do, do not buy this powder. Oh my God, it looks like I literally just slapped flour all over my face. This is not cute. Moving on. I have this from Soap and Glory. I'm surprised that this is so poorly rated. Um, this is a cream blush and contour duo. This is $15, so it's a little up there in price. I'm gonna use my uh, Luxie JD Weighty brush and I'm going to go ahead and start contouring. It comes in two different shades. I'm surprised actually. Everybody says that it's not very pigmented. That's pretty pigmented in my book. I mean, maybe it's that everything else sucks so much, but that it's making this look better, but I don't think this is that bad. 
I might regret saying this once I look at the footage, but I actually think this blended pretty well and especially used with other products that I know I love and trust. I think I would use this again and I'm going to play around with it and give it another go. So we finally tried something in this mess of low rated products that isn't totally horrible. We're gonna crack into a bronzer that I haven't used in ages. I used to love this bronzer. So when I was scrolling through like the low rated, you know, like two and a half, three star products for bronzers, I was like shocked to see this on there. I was like, no, I love that. How dare anyone say anything bad about it. Um, this is the bronze booster from Physicians Formula. I'm gonna think that I like this still um, because I love the BB bronzer so much. I think the annoying thing about this one is I, like you lose these little balls. It is kind of annoying. Does it smell like anything? They used to have an illuminator that had like different colored balls that was just like, oh my God, it would make your skin look so beautiful. They discontinued it. it made me really mad. So I'm gonna take a bronzer brush. I'm actually gonna take a really good brush. Zhuzh it in here a little bit. Look, look at that pigmentation, right? And oh, do not remember it being that pigmented. Um, someone says that it looks like they face planted into a bucket of glitter. I don't think, I think that's kind of an exaggeration. This is not that shiny. You know what? I'm gonna keep using this one because I do remember really loving it. I will update you guys as I try this over top of good powder, good foundation, good primer, because I just, I think this gives such a pretty nice bronze. It does have a little bit of a satin sheen to it, but it's not glittery. It is a little bit up there in price. It's $14.99, but Physicians Formula is often on sale at drugstores, even though this is an Ulta video. You can like scroll on down to Rite Aid or CVS and usually find it 40% off or with a reward, or in Ulta you can use use one of their Ulta coupons on the drugstore stuff. Just go ahead and always do that to knock the price down just a little bit. We need a little highlight and I'm kind of cheating here because I already know I don't like this highlighter, but let's just reinforce that. This is from L'Oreal. This is one of their new Lumi Glow Nude palettes. This is Moon Kissed. And you guys, this is not worth the money. It's just chalky, chunky, does not last on the skin. If you wanna see a full review of this, you can uh, open the description box and I will leave a link to my full review of the Lumi um, new products. And then I also tried on the full collection of their Color Riche balms, which were really, really good. Some of the Lumi products are great. This palette though, not freaking worth the money. All right, bye. We're now moving on to eyeshadow and this looks so pretty. Let's just test this. Uh, huh. This is from Laura Geller. This is a new little palette that they have called the Celestial Bliss High Def Eyeshadow Palette. You get four shades in here. They feel kind of rough. Looking at the palette, it looks really beautiful. This is $22 and everybody basically says that it was kind of lackluster, didn't really do anything wow. There was a lot of fallout and just swatching these colors, they don't look that great, but we're gonna try them out. That's what we are here to do. I'm gonna go ahead and go all over the lid with Stardust. That is kind of dusty. Star, it's Stardusty. <laughs> I hate myself, okay. I'm gonna flip the brush and I'm gonna go on Galactic Glitz on the outer edge. That one's not so bad, actually. Oh my God, my makeup looks really horrible that it is hard to like get into this eyeshadow. Okay, um, I'm gonna take my finger and take Drops of Jupiter. This is actually the prettiest one in the palette in my opinion. Um, it's a little bit firm. That's really pretty. I mean, I'd probably suggest just buying like a ColourPop shadow for five bucks, but yes, yeah, definitely hard. That's what she said. I just think you can get this kind of a vibe from the drugstore or just lesser expensive products. It's not really wowing me. Okay, we're gonna try out this from Neutrogena. This is the Hydro Boost Plumping Mascara. I love the word plumping in terms of like just volumizing and like plumping your lips, plumping your skin, plumping your hair, plumping your lashes. I just like that word. And this has horrible ratings. Everybody says it's a smeary mess, it's gloppy. And I have to say I'm kind of surprised because Neutrogena mascaras, like they have one called the Healthy Volume Boost, I believe, and that one is really good. This one is waterproof. We're gonna just give it a good go and see what happens. I can see why people think it's gloppy because it kind of wants to take your lashes and kind of like pinch them together. 
Whoa. Are you seeing that? Wait. I haven't even gotten to the lower lash line. Okay, this is not good. This is gonna be a nightmare to take off too. I can just feel it. All right, so it transferred not to my lid, which is usually like a gripe I have about mascaras, but oddly it transferred below with just like light blinking. That is so strange. All right, we are just striking out. I forgot to put blush on and I actually, I'm really curious about this brand. Let me know if you've heard about this brand, if you wanna see more from this brand here on my channel. I do have quite a few products. This is from Note, and this is the Macadamia Infused Blusher. It's a baked product that looks more like a bronzer in my opinion. Oh my God, it smells like bathroom air freshener. Why? Um, you guys, this is $17.99 and it's literally just a highlighter and it smells like public restroom air freshener. I have never tried these from JCAT. You guys know how much I love JCAT Beauty and how much I love just all of their innovative products and they keep bringing out really cool highlighters and cream eyeshadows and liners and they have some really, really good stuff. But these are not well loved online. This is their Soft Matte Lip Cooler. This actually doesn't look that bad, I don't think. Ooh, it smells super minty. Okay, <sighs> you guys know I'm super, super picky with liquid lips and the gripe that people are having is that this is super drying and that it shows off all of the lines in your lips. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That was like from another dimension. I did not think I was actually gonna sneeze. You guys, I'm the weirdest sneezer ever. And then I read this article about how bad it is to hold your sneezes in. So now I'm just like, let it go, let it go. And then I make weird noises like that. And I try like comboing two colors together. The mintiness in this is very overwhelming. And maybe I need to give it a few minutes to dry down, but it doesn't feel that dry. I look like a mess, dude. I need to go to Namie's today and pick up some stuff for travel, but like, I can't go looking like this. You can really see how bad these products are when they're all mixed together because like nothing is working, especially that powder. Okay, yeah, I totally get it. Now this product is drying down and it really, really settles in those lines. Kind of wondering why I decided to make my big announcement of my announcement of my brand like in this video where I don't look my best. This is not the best version of me, but didn't we have fun? We had fun playing with all this stuff, right? Do you guys use any of these products and they are your holy grails and maybe I was using them wrong? Feel free to comment, leave feedback in the comments below, expand the description box for more details, different videos, all of that. And be sure to come back on Wednesday. I will be here 10 a.m. unveiling my brand name, all about it, what it is. And then of course we will be selling on Friday, 10 a.m. PST. I'm so excited. I'm just like beaming and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So we're almost there. I love you so much. It means the world to me that you watch my videos and that I feel like you're here with me whenever I'm playing with makeup and doing all that, as silly as it is, I feel like we're, we're right there together having a good time and we're friends and I love that and I love what I do, so thank you guys so much. I love you and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.